What is up guys, this is Val from Premier 3D and I've got this tutorial is going to be on how to use the new blur gallery features in Photoshop CS6. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talk talking about how to use the these three new features in the filter blur section. They're pretty cool stuff. Uh, so let's start with field blur. I'm just going to use this image as the first one I found on my computer, so yeah. So you just want to click on field blur, and the first thing you'll see is that it's gone all blurry, and that you've actually got this weird pin on your screen. And what this allows you to do is you can move it around, um, but nothing's happening right now. So, because, um, yeah, nothing's happening right now. But if you add another pin, and you can turn this one down, which allows you to have blurry, bl blurriness over in this section, whereas in this section is going to be clear. Uh, and this is why it's called a field blur, as you can take different areas or field of the image and make it blur blurrier in some sections. It kind of gives you a bit of like a depth of field in a way. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and I, I really like how the pins look there. It's a pretty good interface. And uh, inst you can like use this to turn it up and down. Obviously, that's too much, but like just showing you. Or you can go up here and use it from there. Um, and then there's this little section over here called Bokeh. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a pretty cool uh, feature, but on this image, it won't look too great. But I'm going to show you what it does anyway. So if you if you turn up the the light bokeh. It, it kind of brings the lighter colors and makes it stand out more. Um, it's a feature a lot of photographers are using nowadays. Um, so a lot of people will be happy that they've added it. Um, and as you can see, when I turn the color up, they kind of they stand out more, the different shades. So as there's the orange there and the red there. And then you can play around with the light range. So choose which colors are going to be affected by the bokeh we've added. Um, so yeah, that's the field blur. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty useful feature they've added. You can get some nice results. Um, yeah. So, and then you wanna make sure you click okay once you've saved it, or if you don't wanna save it, you can click cancel. I'm just gonna show you the next feature by un unchecking this and going to iris blur and then I guess I can delete that yep so now we're on iris blur uh, you can just double click it to open it and close them so iris blur, blur already looks a lot more complicated uh, but it's really not that bad uh, what it allows you to do is that if you have a single object in an image that you want to stay in focus while the rest of the image kind of goes out of focus. Uh, that's what you use this type of blur for. Um, in a straight away, it'll create this kind of circle or sometimes an ellipse. And these things on the side are called ellipse handles. I know that's called the ellipse handle. Uh, lets you kind of shape the object that you, you're looking for. Uh, I'm just gonna choose that boat down there and you can kind of shape it around to, ha to have it just to fit the image the, the object that you want so I'm gonna put it right in the middle and as you can see when I turn the blurriness up it turns the blurriness up for around the, the object so I'm not gonna turn it too high I'm gonna have it fairly low because it looks pretty nice like that and then so yeah, we went over, these are called the um, ellipse handles, sorry. And these ones here, uh, kind of lets you choose the radius of the circles. And this one here, yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, <laughs> I was just doing the same thing a second ago. But yeah, this lets you choose the radius of the corners. So if you want it to be perfect ellipse or kind of a rectangle with curved edges that lets you do that. I'm going to kind of keep it 
in this shape. Um, they're called the radius handles, if I remember correctly. And these round circles here are called the um, roundness knobs. That's, I think, what they're called. Pretty stupid name, but you know. Uh, they're used for the feathering. So, kind of how smooth the kind of the change from the blurriness to the clear clarity will be. So if you pull it right in, as you can see, it goes a bit blurry over here. But and then if you pull it right out, it's perfectly clear there, and then goes quickly to blurred. So it's always nice to have a bit of feathering around that this area. So I'm going to keep it kind of around that area. And as you can see, the image looks pretty nice. I've just added a thing. And yeah, that's, you can actually add different points, like the field blur. So as you can see, we can have this one in focus as well. Um, and then the rest of the, we can have two, two of them in focus and the rest of the image completely out of focus. So that's the iris blur for you. Now the final one is called the tilt shift blur. Uh, this is a huge addition that they've added. Lots of people are really happy about it. I quite like it as well. Um, so yeah, when you add the tilt shift blur, you'll find loads of lines pop up. Uh, is generally used more for photos that are taken from an overhead view and where the subject is pretty far out uh, so you can make it look like it's trying to pinpoint it but I'm just gonna use it on the same boat over here or maybe no so I can show you all the lines um, I'll just do on this golden thing here it's not gonna look great the image but you know just showing you the settings um, yeah, so like I said, this is the, in the like I told you in the field blur. This one here is for the called the blur pen. Lets you move it around the photo. I'm just gonna drop it here, and this is the blurriness of, and the blurriness. An interesting thing is uh, how kind of how it works. So the blurriness is basically anything within this. <coughs> sorry, with with these within these two lines are always going to be 100% in focus. So we can place it anywhere on the image and that thing will still be you know in focus. Uh and you you can always um move the points around so you can have them in like have a more concentrated area. So we'll do it like that to show you. And you can always rotate it. So if you want to have a vertical or horizontal or diagonal, whatever you want. And so the the rotate yeah the rotate handles um, allow you to control the different focus zones. So when you pull this one down, this stays in focus. But then the out the one that's blurred kind of comes down with it a bit. And it's a pretty it's a pretty cool feature. So we can always, if you want to bring that down as well, as you can see now that this area here is a lot more blurred than it is down there. That's because this one controls the strength of the blur in the different areas. So if you bring it down, the blur is going to be really strong where it's above or below this one here. Um, yeah. So that's been the new blur gallery in the filter area. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If, if you have, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Uh, I post there quite a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.